Hi, it's Rich Tarani from CTIA 2010 in the TMC newsroom. And uh, thanks for watching here today. We're really thrilled to have Cheryl Goodman with Qualcomm on our program. And Cheryl, how are you? I'm doing great. It's a great show. Um, great. You brought over this amazing prototype of a device that I just can't wait to show the viewers. Yes. Can you uh, sure. hold that up, please? Yeah. So what we're looking at out there in viewership land is, is a Mirasol display. It is a 5.7 inch display. And you can see that this is a uh, not a, a liquid crystal display, not an e-ink display, but something really quite different. It is a biomimetic uh, based design. And Rich, we were just talking about this, so that you have a really good sense of what, what this means. Nature-based design it means it's super low power, highly reflect, reflective, runs color, runs video, and it's headed to an e-reader in, in, in the end of the year, the year. That's awesome. Now, I noticed a little butterfly logo down here. Could you go into that for us? Sure. So that butterfly symbolizes how we actually generate color. And when we get to a color screen, you'll see that we have a very nice aesthetic. It is nothing, it's like nothing that's ever existed in terms of display technology. Now, I can attest to that, by the way, just having seen it, that it really is, it's not super bright, like let's say a cell phone would be, right. but you can tell it's a low power right. unit, but at the same time, you can see all the colors and it's um, very fast. I mean, I'm, we're looking at a, uh, a demo of magazine covers going by. I mean, it's it's amazing. It, it is, and it uses um, the light in the room, just the ambient light in the room to create color, and that is called uh, interferometric modulation. We don't have to spell it, but I can tell you how it works. It's basically interference, and, and just like the color you see in a rainbow or the color in a butterfly's wings, which is our logo, and that's how we create the color, and that's why this display is so low power because we're not beholden to backlight. Um, like a liquid crystal display technology has to fill this entire back surface with lights. We don't. There is no light in this device whatsoever. And as a result, we have just this incredible thin, lightweight device, super low power, running video, running color. And this is this Mirasol display is a one and only. There's not another technology out there using biomimetics to create color. Now, is there an, in a um an acronym for that technology yes. you just we, mentioned? We call it IMOD. IMOD. And IMOD. And that okay. describes the, the interference, interferometric modulation. That's the first time in my career that I've actually requested an acronym. Well, yeah, I you just know. want you to know that. <laughs> well, after the interferometric <laughs> modulation, you know, even we needed an, uh, an, an acronym for that. But our division name is Qualcomm MIMS Technologies. The reason that we can run this video so fast is a microelectrical mechanical systems and so they have this inherent rapid refresh rate uh, which gives us a leg up on any other low power e-reader technologies that you might be aware of in the e-reader market so that's the point of difference running that video but doing it in the color that we see in nature every single day so now there's a contrast between uh, the the size of the the mobile market and the size of the e-reader market. Can you talk to me a little bit about yeah. that? Yeah, well as Qualcomm, you know, we're very interested in, in uh, supporting and enabling that mobile uh, market. And um, that market for handsets is projected to be uh, up to four billion units, right? The e-reader market is about 20 million units. And so while we have a foothold and we're, we're gonna be in the e-reader market at the end of the year, we know that power is a problem that's not just relegated to uh, e-readers, it's really about mobile devices. And so right. if you can innovate against the display that's going to offset the power to a handset, you know, we're running 10 different radios and handsets, we're doing email, we're downloading videos and so forth, all at the expense of battery technology, which fundamentally has not changed in, in some time, right? right? And the display technologies of today are the number one consuming power component. So how do you, as Qualcomm, we say, well, we have to address that. And how, until there's a solution on the battery front, let's address those high power components, mirror cell display, low power, highly reflective, in an e-reader at the end of the year, but ultimately where we see this is in smartphones in that 20 billion, or 40 billion, 4 billion market, not the 20 million of e-readers. So. so now we've got competition coming from, uh, in, in, this, in this market from, you've got Apple with an iPad, you've got a slew of Android based devices, right. things like uh, the Barnes and Noble Nook. Right. What do you think about all those competitors? Uh, amazing uh, technologies, and I will tell you that uh, how Qualcomm looks at the market in terms of e-readers is on one side you have the electrophoretic or these e-ink uh, devices, and then on the other side you have the iPad. This experience over here for the electrophoretic is a very low power book experience, very much like reading a book. This one is a converged, rich power experience that's going to 
be very uh, consumptive in terms of power. So you have maybe three, six hours of battery life, intense multimedia, where you have days and weeks, right? So if you're measuring power in order of weeks, as opposed to hours, there's something in the middle. And that something in the middle is color, video, low power. And this, is the, this addresses the bulk of the market need. Now for uh, companies that are looking potentially to integrate this into their uh, solutions, what, what's the next step for them? Uh, so if, uh, if you, are, you have a portable device and you're interested in conserving power and ex, you know, uh, offering features and services on that device to the point where you're concerned that your battery is going to be an issue, the battery life, yeah, then they definitely should reach out to um, Qualcomm. QMT our, is our division, Qualcomm MIMS Technologies, and uh, we can help them. Fantastic. And what's next for uh, your division and this, this device? What, <laughs> well, what? yeah, that, whew, I thought we did a lot already, <laughs> but what's next? Okay, so yeah, at the end of the year, uh, by the close of the year, we're going to bring this color, beautiful uh, uh, e-reader size um, display to market. And then, uh, you know, when we get there, I'll come back and I'll tell you what's set in store for 2011. I can't wait to, to see you again yeah, and, it's gonna and be talk awesome. to you more about this device. Yeah, so thanks, Rich. Yep, good luck. All right, thanks.